Acts 15, verse 10, maybe you got machine. He said to y'all and said it was fine. Hello everyone and welcome to episode 4 of Dragon Age Inquisition. Um, we're going to try to get rid of the Renegade Templars and the Apostate Mages, like their holdouts, their, their hideouts. Got the refugees bundled up nice and warm. Good. Because now we've just finished, kind of here, let me show you, I keep clicking the wrong button. Um, so we basically went all the way down here and got all of the missions done down there in the camping areas. Um, now we've got to... Oh, there's so much to do in the Henderlands. It's exhausting. <laughs> we have to go see Dennett, but on our way over there, we're going to get the Templars and we're going to get the mages. We already tried to do that, I think, in episode two, and we completely failed. So we'll see how it'll work out this time. I'm going to leave all these tiny little side quests for, um, for later, because I'm kind of done grinding on side quests. I'm, I'm getting pretty tired of it. As you can tell, I think it was episode two. It was like, an, it was just too long. That episode was way too long. It's like a mini movie. Anyways, we're gonna go get these mages who are killing everyone. Same with the Templars. And get everybody out, make the road safe again. Yeah, sure, whatever. Okay, I'm going to make sure everyone has everything leveled up. Yeah, okay, good. And has some good armor because I really want to be able to beat them this time. Oh, 45. And Solus, 39. Cassandra, yes! Use that hatchet! Um, Kunari Buckler. And Beric, you always have same old <sighs> Bianca. When there is like, it doesn't even get very high. There are upgrades for it where you can make it stronger, but it really doesn't ever get very strong. The adventure hat on. Yeah, everything seems to be in order. Oh, Amulet of Magic, Fire, Resistance, all those, Amulet of Constitution, Story. Okay, let's give it a good old save. I mean, we're nowhere near the, the mage hideout, but <laughs> going into Witchwood. Witchwood is one of my favorite places in the hinterlands. Elfruit! There are so many people to fight in here. I love like the sonic waves. Look at that. I love it. So cool. Okay. Go get these guys. Oh, I've already taken them all out. So, is there like anyone even in here? Maybe two people? Just one. Oh, this guy. Freaking hate this guy. Finally, die. Oh. Should be safer, at least for the time being. But we still have those Templars to worry about, though. Yeah. It took me forever to kill him. 
took me episodes. My sword enemy. Oh, cool, level five, good. Um, let's go over here and that. and do a good old save. Oh, the Wrath of Leviathan. That's the mage staff we just got. Yes. Oh, wait. I have one that's stronger, so it doesn't really matter. So let's go get that one. And then we'll go get the loot and then take out the Templars. I'm honestly getting really tired of being in the Hinterlands. I, I know I already said that, but it's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I want to get out! I want to go to Valhario! But I have to... Get, I just... I feel like I want to get it all done and over with. I feel like there should be a door here. Or like a quest around it. Because you see... There's one glowing rune. And then these two are... Black and empty. And then these two dragons are here. But there's like nothing here. And a book and everything. Is there like a note about it? Nope. Alright. Royal Elf Fruit. <laughs> I'm all about Elf Fruit. I love it. Be nice to have a horse right now. We get the horses all the way over here. Alright. Go to the cabin in the highlands. Okay. It's on our way, so. Or is it? I'm not really sure. Nah, I'm not going to the cabin. I'm just gonna go straight to the Templars. And then... Over here. It's so pretty. I hope all of you have had a great day so far, and I've really enjoyed your, your time on this earth. That sounds kind of weird. <laughs> oh yeah, it's right here. And you know, you enjoyed the sunshine, or enjoyed the starlight and moonlight. What? So I have not. <laughs> I am agoraphobic. I stay inside. <laughs> So I hope you're enjoying it all for me. No! <laughs> you know what? I eat cinnamon by the spoon, and I have before the cinnamon challenge. Even with a thing. Master. I hate how they rip through the ground and they're all like gross. Oh, finally. Okay, let's go back to that cabin. Yeah, so this place is unpleasant. Oh, the yard is unpleasant. I've never been in here before. Finally, something new in the hinterland. It's not even a phase, it's just, it's just a greater terror. Whoa. 
way Sola said that this place is unpleasant. What happened here? Oh, it's a pig's head, a pig's blood. Blood magic. Oh, that was a very common practice in the old days. Pig's blood for magic. As I was saying before, um, let me know in the comments how you've been enjoying nature during quarantine. Like, even just some nice views from your window, or if you're in the city, like, some of your plants that you've been taking care of. Things like that. Or if you've learned about astrology lately and astronomy, just tell me about the different constellations that you've been watching late at night and which ones are your favorite. Okay, let's go get those Templars. Where are we? Oh my gosh, this place is crazy to navigate. I love the mountains. I love mountains in general. Like, Norway is one of my favorite countries because of the scenery. And it's just so beautiful because it's mostly made up of mountains. I also really love the Rockies in Canada. Gonna get these guys. These aren't the the Templar Templar hideouts, but um, they're still Templar. Oh gosh, I'm not even hitting them. Not even hitting anyone. He's running away slowly. Look at his jiggly there. Solus, get out of my fucking way. Solus. Are you kidding me? Hi guys! Welcome to the party! See, this is why I'm a mage, because it's absolutely beautiful to fight. Obviously, the Templars are getting into some red lyrium stuff, which is pretty fucked up. Um, red lyrium, for those of you who don't know, is basically blighted lyrium. And I don't know about a lot about lyrium itself, but Templars take it um, in order to... Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna give the summary of it because I'm honestly too tired to go into full like history mode. So, red lyrium is blighted lyrium, which is when like you know the blight from the first game with the dark spawn and everything, black creatures coming up, arch demon. So, when any living creature can become blighted, like a human, a dwarf, an elf, a kunari, a nug, the earth, anything, a dragon, that's what dra the archdemons are, blighted old gods, which are in the form of dragons, um, they become deformed and tainted, they become tainted, and so lyrium is basically People take it and ingest it to help amplify their magic, 
so that's what gives Templars the ability to have all these special um, abilities to fight against mages, because most Templars, they, they don't have magic. Did you really magic. think the Conclave had a chance of making peace, Seeker? You do not? Well, what was the Divine's plan? Bring everyone together and hope really hard they would all get along. Most Holy did not confide her plan to me. Perhaps she thought they were tired of death and conflict. Now when has that ever been true? For Templars or mages? I will not mock a dead woman, Varric. She did what she could, and that is more than most. Yeah, and Cassandra loved her. But, um, you can see, it's just a rock. But by its ability to become blighted, it is then scientifically proven that it is alive. So, Lyrium is a living form. That's all. I want to learn more about it. So, I don't know much about it in detail. But I'd like to. Okay, let's go over here now. Good, full potions. Those guys are down. We've gone the loot. And then just to our left over there is. Ooh, sigil. Sigil. I don't even know how to pronounce that. You know, the problem with me. Ooh. Problem with me is that I don't have a lot of, like, verbal experience, but I read a ton of books and I read just a lot in general, like from games, from the internet, from articles, from books, manuscripts, and stuff like that, and textbooks, and, and, um, oh, no, they're walking towards us, and so the issue with that is, I don't really know how to pronounce a lot of words when I try to say them in real life, I know exactly how they're spelt, and what they're used for, but it's kind of hard to figure out what, you know, how to say them. You. The Templars have secured a position ahead.
I'm not gonna take them out. He's running away. love how she charges into battle. She doesn't give it, like, she doesn't care. She just wants to fight. Oh, I miss him! Time on the King's Road now. Yes. We did it. <sighs> okay. And I just want to tell you, this will probably be the last episode in the Hinterlands for a while, because I need a big break from this place. I need a break, and I think you two too. too. <laughs> so now we're off to go see Master Dennett and um, get some horses from him. Hopefully. Let's ask him. I love the landscapes in here. This is so peaceful. Look at the little dust bunnies in the air. I'd love to come here in the springtime. Go for a little splish splash in the water. You know, when there isn't any war. to go get this note. So much walking. It's like, I don't even like walking in real life. <laughs> and just walking in games is exhausting. with such determination. The breach may have driven them mad. Or perhaps a demon took command of the pack. So smart. 
Yay, we're here! Yay! We're finally here! Gotta go down here. See in the distance by the little pond? We're gonna make up, um, some camp. We're gonna make camp. And so then we can travel here whenever we need to. This would be a good place to set up camp. So right, Cassandra. Nothing to report, sir. Okay. <sighs> the waterfall. I suppose this must be Master Dennett. Yes, please give me a horse. I'm so tired of walking on my own two feet. <laughs> please. There must be something here. Let's yeah. look around. Yeah, you know what it is? It's freaking curveball wine. Here you're trying to bring order back. Oh, High time summer, did. Sorry, Watch just stealing your alcohol. It's ugly out there. Name's Dennett. I served Al Eamon for 30 years as horse master. Awesome. I hear your inquisition is looking for mounts. Yeah. It is. Can you help us? Not at the moment. I can't just send a hundred of the finest horses in Ferelden down the road like you send a letter. Every bandit between here and Haven would be on them like flies on crap. You'll have mounts once I know they won't end up as a cold winter's breakfast. If you have a problem with me personally, I'd like to know about it. What? It's because I called you a Haller Rider. Those Haller are damn majestic beasts. I'll give my right arm to ride one. My wife Elena manages the farms and Bron's in charge of my guards. They'll tell you what they need. Until then, you deserve something better than whatever knock kneed plow neck they gave you. They actually didn't give me anything. Purebred for Elden Forder. Thank you. Take care of him, and he'll take care of you, Inquisition. Alright, then let's get some stuff done for safety of everyone. Hey, Elena. I heard what my man said. If you want our horses, then we need our farmers back safe in their fields. Since the breach appeared, the wolves have gone mad. They come after our men like beasts with the water sickness. You deal with the wolves, and our farmers will be safe again. What's the beast? How are these the wolves acting differently sickness? from normal? Normal wolves go after livestock, but come at them with a torch and a blade and they run. These beasts, though, it it's like dark spawn during the blight, or when the dead rose to attack us. They're possessed, or something like it. I've lost too many men to the beast. Nice pants. I won't endanger more. Those are cool pants. Look like them. Well. The Good seams day. and everything on her knees. Phoenix scales. Oh wow. The monster does the quite well out there. What? What what? If those refugees are going to defend themselves, they'll need real defenses. I've got a few ideas. <sighs> you said you had a way to help the refugees. I do. There are too many hills in these parts, good places for raiders and bandits to gather. I've marked good spots on the map. You set up watchtowers there. I'll talk to the master and get your people weapons. Okay. Farewell. Get your people weapons. Bye! Okay, so I have decided, I'm so done with the hinterlands, that I'm actually just going to do some grinding for the next, like, 15 minutes, get all of this stuff done, and during that duration I'm just gonna speed over everything and like get it done as fast as I can because honestly this isn't very interesting for me or for you I'm guessing we want to see some new scenery we want to go to this city we want to have friends we want to meet new people we want to fall in love we, we want to do all that stuff okay so I'm not gonna say anything I'm just gonna go by and do my thing, you know, and I'm gonna put on some rockin' music that I made myself, <laughs> and I hope you like it, okay? Bye-bye! <laughs>
got me feeling so good. I my bets on you got me feeling so good. My bets on you. You got me feeling so good. Black I wish. Wish I didn't Stop dancing. Stop dancing. Stand. Mike is bold. He is so, so dramatic. dramatic. He's, He's melodramatic. melodramatic. Bloody well a disaster. I'm thin inside me, wondering to know ya. I can't take my finger on it, but it feels you're a stranger. Oh, but I've been here before. I travel alone. I love you, baby. And if it's quite alright, I need you, baby. To warm the lonely night, I love you, baby. Trust in me when I say, Oh, pretty baby, don't bring me down, I pray. Oh, pretty baby, now that I've found you, say and let me love you, baby. Let me love you. Perhaps I've been keeping to myself for too long. Maybe you need me. You look at me. You have the world at your feet, <gasps> myself included. Oh, we got black ball. When I wish I didn't care. Oh, oh I've been everywhere. Oh, I wish, wish I didn't care. Oh, honey, honey, you're as hot as lightning. <laughs> Bum <laughs> He would do what he be told. And then he would proceed to tell school chicks he would sound to every really girl. He would teach the Bible like a preacher, fill the young city in fire. Not to know so tough to be the teacher, but he didn't use desire. Wow, raw, Rasputin, lover of the Russian queen. Who else have kept that really was gone? Raw, raw, Rasputin, the printed be love machine. Who else is shame how he carried on? Ooh, lusting is on your for power. No, they own more people. Don't do something about this outrageous man! Louder and louder and louder! Hey, 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 hey,
get on the ladies off. They don't, they don't take it, please. The tip to the team. Tell me to tell you to to intense try and go to sell it to his arms. To sell it to him, buy just something to end it. To trap her in the sky. How it tastes and then the piece of taste and he and he wildly came. Rawr, sweetie, lover of the Russian queen. He wants his palace and into his wine. Rawr, sweetie, mansion, baby, love machine. He said to the all and said it was fine. The raw teen lover of the Russian queen. Rasputin wanted his head. Raw raw Rasputin, Russian station love machine. They suddenly shot him till he was dead. Oh, those Russians. I'm 
Okay, so I think these two are the best love story in the entire game. Personal opinion. Um, <laughs> so we're not actually going to talk to Cassandra right now. We're just going to go to Orle because like I said, we have got to go see the city. We've got better things to do. And sit around at Haven and... We've got scattered reports of Tevinter sightings in the hinterlands. Mages? And their servants, yes. Mm. You think they might be connected to the attack on the Conclave? Assumption Scout Palaine. No Circle Mage has ever caused anything like the breach. Fair point. I like listening to all of their little side conversations because they, um, they develop and grow the more you listen to them and I, I just really enjoy seeing character development. Ooh, what's going on here? Your kind killed the most holy. His hairdo. Lies. Your kind let her die. Shut your mouth, mate. Enough. Knight Captain. That is not my title. We are not Templars any longer. We are all part of the Inquisition. And what does that mean exactly? Back already, Chancellor. Haven't you done enough? I'm curious, Commander, as to how your Inquisition and its herald will restore order as you've promised. Of course you are. Back to your duties, all of you. He's just the big dad trying to, like, put the mages and Templars in time out. Mages and Templars were already at war. Now they're blaming each other for the Divine's death. Which is why we require a proper authority to guide them back to order. Who? You? Random <laughs> clerics who weren't important enough to be at the Conclave. The Rebel Inquisition and its so-called Herald of Andraste? I think not. We're not so terrible. I don't know. The Inquisition seems about as functional as any young family. How many families are on the verge of splitting into open warfare with themselves? Yes, because that would never happen to the Chantry. Centuries of tradition will guide us. We are not the upstart eager to turn over every apple cart. Remind me why you're allowing the Chancellor to stay. Clearly, your Templar knows where to draw the line. He's toothless. There's no point turning him into a martyr simply because he runs at the mouth. The Chancellor's a good indicator of what to expect in Val Royo, however. No, Cullen doesn't know the answer to that. Don't let anyone riot while we're gone. The walls will be standing when you return. I am so deeply confused on who Nanin should romance. I I'm so confused. <sighs> I don't know how to make a decision. And I know most of you, if I'm getting like my guesses right about who my viewers are, are gonna say, Oh, romance Cullen, romance Cullen. But Nanin would never she would never, ever do that. She doesn't trust no human Templars, but then, but then that makes the romance so much more bittersweet and and like just romantic because it's like you know two people from two different worlds are sworn enemies, but they're actually deeply in love and find peace amongst the war. And it's like, ooh, what what do we do? What do we do? But she doesn't. They don't see eye to eye. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Oh, I'm not doing that right now. Oh, lots of things. 
No, we're just going to the city. We've got 23 power. Interest from the capital. You're not pleased? I am not convinced we are prepared for the full scrutiny of Val Royale. Well, we're going for it anyways. Having the Herald address the clerics is not a terrible idea. You can't be serious. <laughs> Mother Giselle isn't wrong. At the moment, the Chantry's only strength is that they are united in opinion. And we should ignore the danger to the Herald. Let's ask her. This is a terrible plan! You want me to walk into a pit of vipers and you ask me that? They're not vipers just because they like to hiss. I will go with her. Mother Giselle said she could provide us names. Use them. But why? This is nothing but a... What choice do we have, Liliana? Right now we can't approach anyone for help with the breach. Use what influence we have to call the clerics together. Once they are ready, we will see this through. We're gonna call them together in two minutes. Because we're going right now. I really like Val Royale. It's gonna blow your brain cells apart into tiny split atoms. No, that's an explosion. I'm sorry. It looks beautiful, okay? It's great. It's it's gorgeous. It's mind-blowing. You'll love it. I hope you do. It's my little gift to you today. A little tied-up ribbon with a kiss on it and a cherry top. See? Look at it! Oh, I love it. I love it, and yeah, I made Cassandra and Nun in still new outfits. Just a guess, Seeker, but I think they all know who we are. Your skills of observation never fail to impress me, Varric. They have such a cute love-hate relationship. My Lady Herald. You're one of Leliana's people. What have you found? The Chantry Mothers await you, but so do a great many Templars. There are Templars here? People seem to think the Templars will protect them from... from the, the Inquisition. Inquisition. They're gathering on the other side of the market. I think that's where the Templars intend to meet you. Only one thing to do, then. Goat. Goat. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. They wish to protect the people from us? Protect them from the blasphemous Herald of Andraste, I'd say. Surely they cannot think such a thing. Yes, they can. Why not? They wouldn't be the only ones. You think the orders return to the fold, maybe? To deal with us upstarts? I know Lord Seeker Lucius. I can't imagine him coming to the Chantry's defense. Not after all that's occurred. So the potential for trouble has increased twofold. Perhaps. Return to Haven. Someone will need to inform them if we are delayed. As you say, my lady. Okay. So I'm going to end the episode here. And I know that's going to be really annoying and like... Oh, the cliffhanger, the cliffhanger of seeing this beautiful city. Well, you know what? It's okay because we're coming back with another episode and I hope you join us. Bye-bye, everyone.